Okay, so let's start the session. Good afternoon to all. Myself Chaitali. I am the host for today's session, DevOps in Machine Learning. So we'll start with the introduction about today's session. Today's session is organized by ETC community. Our ETC community is for all who are interested in various emerging technologies like artificial intelligence, machine learning, IoT, cloud, DevOps, and many more. To get updated and to know in depth about the technologies which we provide, you can follow our meetup group, which is Emerging Technology Community. For that, you just need to install Meetup app on your phone and follow our community. Now, small code of conduct which you all need to follow. Please note that you can't take a screenshot of the presentation and can't do screen recording. If you need recording, then simply subscribe to our YouTube channel. We will be sharing the recording for this session on our YouTube channel soon. Also, the YouTube channel link will be posted in the chat box later. Now, agenda for the session. This session will provide you with the skills and knowledge of ML operations. Today's speaker for session is Mr. Chandrasekhar Deshpande. Chandrasekhar sir is working in tech corporate industry for more than 30 years. His core experience is in data related technologies. He is Microsoft certified trainer. Now you can grow professionally by adding the latest technology skills with Microsoft various certification. You can enroll for any of the certification trainings program with us where you will be experiencing live interactive sessions with the best industry MCTs, trust us and we will deliver the best. Now the upcoming sessions in Global Azure, we have one more session after this. Title and timings are mentioned on the screen. If you want to attend any of the session, you can. I will be dropping the attendee link for you all in the chat box. Then we have special offer for you all. We are providing Microsoft certification training on discounted rate for all the advanced courses at just Rs. 22,500 plus GST, which includes hands on lab, free exam voucher, free MOC assessment and practice test. Also, you will get the trained by our best MCTs. For inquiry, you can drop us mail. I will be sharing our official email ID on the chat box later. Also do follow us on our social media platforms like LinkedIn, Facebook and Twitter to get updated related to the webinars and workshop we do. Links will be provided in the chat box. Over to you Chandrasekhar sir. Thanks to all. Thanks Chaitadi. I'm sharing my screen and let me know whether the screen reach is reaching to you. Yes, sir, it is visible. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I welcome all of you uh, on this session on Azure ML Ops. And here we will try to understand what is uh, uh, team data science lifecycle 
uh, what benefits uh, you know uh, automation of such a life cycle brings in the life of a, a developer a deployer and all the you know stakeholders in overall process of team data science uh, so uh, there is something called as a model ops so what means are how model ops and ml ops are different so there are many points as on uh, as of now in our agenda so let's begin with a team data science process the team data science process basically intended to uh, creating the uh, machine learning model for the production purpose now before i begin first of all let me quickly introduce to you what exactly machine learning model is uh, you know you uh, might have used you know google maps then uh, whenever you visit uh, amazon online shopping uh, that that website starts uh, showing you uh, new arrivals in the market uh, specifically those arrivals which perhaps you are interested in so how that amazon online uh, shopping comes to know what are your interests say for example if there is a action movie recently released and in case if amazon has realized perhaps you have a uh, liking of action movies immediately those notifications start coming to you or uh, you know on netflix it, it starts showing to you the details about that movie so it happens because somewhere you know uh, there is a machine learning algorithm running behind like a recommendation engine or like a prediction uh, and that algorithm you know uh, start sensing your likings and accordingly at the right time start uh, showing to you advertises or start uh, uh, suggesting you something you can do which you may perhaps like so that is machine learning algorithm and here in order to create such type of algorithms uh, you know there is a team data science process in the business machine learning algorithms and machine learning is being used extensively because it is greatly helping to management decisions so business businesses are being driven by such type of machine learning models as on today so maybe what will be estimate uh, for advertisement to be kept next year uh, how much will be the sales next year so such type of extrapolation can be made possible through machine learning what may be happening next year and in case if we decide to uh, spend this much on adver advertisement how it will uh, affect the uh, sell in case if we increase this uh, uh, estimation uh, sorry in case in case if we increase uh, uh, spending on advertising uh, advertisement by 10% so how much it will uh, show the increase in the sell so those kinds of uh, answers we can uh, to those kinds of questions we can get the answer using machine learning algorithms for creating these algorithms being a developer designer deployer you are responsible for creating such algorithms data scientist data engineer you are responsible for creating such type of models ml machine learning models team data science process is an agile iterative data science methodology to deliver productive analytics solutions and intelligent applications efficient so tdsp is team data science process and there are lot many steps come and inside this process these steps are to be executed in specific order for every step there is some decision to be made and we may do it manually but in case if we try to plan doing it using uh, automation then we can call it as ml ops so ml ops basically a way to automate this whole process so key components of uh, team data science process data science life cycle standardized project structure infrastructure and resources different types of resources if you are doing it on the cloud on the cloud you will have to have different types of resources okay different types of tools and utilities utilities 
it needs a kind of uh, you know experience and uh, knowledge uh, of a specific skill set so all these uh, are essential part of team data science to process what are all steps here all these are you know bold steps uh, mentioned so there are six bold steps mentioned but there are lots of sub steps in every step so let us begin with a uh, defining the goal so what problem am i solving so first of all company has to decide exactly for which answer uh, sorry for which question we want the answer to be given by machine learning model so maybe uh, answer is something like we may want to predict uh, cost of the commodities new products so we want to do the prediction of cost of the new product so there uh, that is the goal we are defining then we have to collect the data from the market about the cost of the similar kind of products so the cost that we are planning to arrive to must be uh, compatible with a similar type of products in the market so we may have to collect similar type of data okay or data on similar type of products okay and then uh, along with their features now every maybe it is similar product okay but features may be different there may be couple of additional features or there may be lack of some of the features so we may so we will not be you know uh, it it will not be enough in case if we get only prices available in the market but their uh, hardware composition their software composition all those things we have to accumulate and then accordingly we have to submit all these things about our product also thereby to know the prediction about the product uh, prediction about the cost of the uh, product which is in question so we have to build a model on the data that we have accumulated and for building the model now two things come into play one is the data that has been accumulated and another is the algorithm algorithms are ready statistics uh, so algorithms written by statisticians so you are not supposed to learn statistics to write the algorithm you will simply build a uh, sorry you will simply pick uh, uh, pick up multiple algorithms okay and then become uh, so let's say you uh, you will submit the data to these algorithms and these algorithms basically on the receipt of this data become mature these are called as the trained models they get trained with the data 